This is your life and it's ending one moment at a time. I'm Anthony from Pittsburgh Fit and I'm here to remind you, sign in a tribe or classes ahead of time. It really, really, really helps us out and when you do it, we really appreciate it. Anyway, happy Saturday. Today we're gonna start our warm up with squats, good mornings and calories on the rower. So we have body weight squats here. We wanna breathe in, squat, breathe out. Yep, Greg picking his hands up is great. It gets the shoulders involved. You get a little bit more muscle per squat. I love it. Now, we're gonna do good mornings next. Here we have the hands up behind the head. We have the feet out a little bit wider. We're gonna bow down and rip it right back up. At the top, I want you to squeeze your glutes together. Good. A nice little hip squeeze helps reset those hips and puts you in a good position to get in for the next rep. Now, we're gonna run over to the rower. We have 10 calories, easy, moderate. We don't wanna go super hard here. You have time for that later. Now, we're gonna start a second exercise with box jumps, deadlifts, and push presses. Now, we're gonna use a medicine ball for this one. So we have box jumps first. You're gonna hop on up to that box, land in the middle, and step down, good. Stepping down is super important, and I want you to keep that in mind as we move through this workout the rest of the day. Stepping down is gonna preserve your knees, ankles, and hips. It's a great strategy, and it makes the workout a little bit harder than jumping down. If you don't wanna jump, that's totally fine. You can step up, no problem. Now, we're gonna pick up that med ball for med ball deadlifts. In between the legs, feet spread apart, tap the ground, and stand. Just like that. Greg does a fantastic job. He's a great deadlifter. He's using the right muscles. His knees are bending. His back is involved a little bit, and that's a-okay. Now, after your 10th rep, you're gonna swing that dumbbell up, or swing that med ball up, press it up and overhead. Give me a little pause. Lower back down, just like a bouncing ball. We want that ball to come down and go right back up. We've had a good amount of practice with push presses this week, so you should be pretty dialed in. Great. That is that. So box jumps, deadlifts, and push presses. Now, I wanna talk a little bit about Fight Gone Bad. This is one of our favorite benchmark workouts, and it might be Erica's favorite benchmark workout ever. So hopefully she's in class with you while you do it because it is super fun. So this is a three round workout. A three round workout, you have five exercises for a minute each, and then you have a minute rest. One minute, two, three, four, five, rest. Now what are our five exercises? Wall ball shots, sumo deadlift high pulls, box jumps, push presses, and rowing. So let's go through each one. Now wall balls, Greg's gonna hold this ball up in front of his chest, he's gonna breathe in, squat, and throw. Then he's gonna catch it and go right back into that next rep, perfect. Thank you. So you can shoot up at a target, you can go for the wall, you can just throw it to yourself, or you can even just do a thruster. But we have one minute. Now, you should try and break this up into two sets. One break in the middle, that's it. Nice and short, every single time, at least take one break. Now our second exercise is sumo deadlift high pulls. Now traditionally these are done with a barbell, but I like doing them with a kettlebell way better. So with, with the barbell, you have your hands in nice and tight, you tap both plates on the ground, you rip it up to your chin, and you lower back down. That one's a little tricky because the bar can hit one side and then the other, and then there's a lot of rocking. So alternatively, we grab the heaviest kettlebell you can find. Seriously, you can do it with a heavy kettlebell, I promise. You keep that wide stance, you pull up to your chin, and right back down. Now if you're extra fancy, you can bring the feet in a little bit closer. You can touch that kettlebell behind your feet just a little bit to get a little pseudo swing in there. Good, thank you, perfect. Again, same idea here, we wanna do two sets. About a 30 second effort, five to 10 second break, and a 20 second effort to go. Now our third move is box jumps. Up, step, step, jump, step, step. Now notice at the top, Greg's standing all the way up on the box first, then he's stepping down. It's really important that you stand all the way up to full extension before coming back down. Step ups are totally fine too, but if you do step ups, what I want you to do is move them fast. So down up, down up, down up, as quick as you can. You still gotta stand up, you still gotta put both feet on the box. I think step ups will make this workout harder. Now our third move is gonna be push presses. We're gonna grab that barbell, you can do it with dumbbells, you can do it with the wall ball, but with that bar up in the front rack, you have a dip and a drive. Dip and drive, dip and drive. These are light weights on the bar, so you should be moving them kinda quickly. You should be getting a lot of reps here, okay? A lot of reps, still two sets, one break in the middle, but we're looking for high volume. Now our last movement is gonna be row four calories. Once you've done the rower, 
That minute ticks over, you have one minute to do absolutely nothing. Now, a couple details here. There is no rest between exercises. So wall balls, I'm looking for about 15 and 25 reps, but I want you to leave three or four seconds to get over to the next movement. So, you know, 56, 57, 57 seconds is about the last rep you want to do. Ball hits the ground, you move over to that barbell, and we got sumo deadlift high pulls. Here, you want to look for like 25 to 35 reps, right? So we're going a little bit higher. Then we move on to box jumps or step ups. So we're looking for 30 to 40 reps. I know it's a lot, but I really want you to move. Move fast. If the box is really high for you, it might be a little less, but if the box is 20 inches and you're used to 24, then you should be able to do pretty well. Push presses, we go back up in reps again. That 25 to 35 rep range. And then row, we're going way down. We're looking at 15 to 20 calories. That'd be a good minute for you. So we want your score to be the total number of reps that you've done across all the movements. So write fight gone bad, write the variations of the movements that you did and the weights that you did, and write how many reps you did in total. It's a lot of record keeping. Don't worry, we can do the math at the end. But this is a fantastic workout, and we can't wait to do it with you.